this is about uh, the quantum leap. How many salary grades can a teacher be reclassified? Sino po ang pwedeng sumagot sa ating panel? Pag quantum leap, siguro si Yusek Kim. <laughs> Yusek Kim, o uh, uh, remind po, sharing Director something Jello. about this. Director Jaylo. Ah, yes po, Yusek. Yeah, Yusek Willie. Yeah. Really. Well, uh, well, uh, ang, ang, kung tama yung dinig ko, the essence of the question is, ilan ba yung po pwedeng mariklas in the reclassification uh, of position hmm. hanggang saan ba? Uh, and you mentioned about quantum leap because uh, in the quantum leap uh, I can be ano, I can be corrected by our uh, CSC counterpart na this has something to do with the uh, uh, three salary grade uh, more than three salary grade But I think since the basis of the reclassification, that the basis of promotion is more on reclassification, and in previous CSC issue once is, once a position is, is reclassified, it has been said that the teacher has that inherent right to be given that position, provided that the, the applicant or the appointee possesses the necessary qualification standards, the performance, and the proficiency level. That's how I see it. But, but uh, of course, uh, we would like also to hear from our CSA counterpart. But to me, uh, why would you limit in the career progression if you all satisfy these this requirements, you, you, you are able to meet what is required mm-hmm. and there is an available fund source, then why not? Thank you. Yeah, I agree. Ta- salamat po. Salamat po, Yusek, sa paglilinaw na yan. So, as long as you meet the QS, di ba? And you pass the evaluative assessment. So, why not? But let us validate that from our uh, friend from uh, CSC. Uh, Chief, Sheila, please. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I agree with what uh, Yusek Cabral uh, mentioned that Actually, uh, pag, pag nabanggit nga po talaga uh, quantum leap, they are referring to the three salary grade limitation and promotion. And uh, actually, dun sa rules ng DBM regarding reclassification, a position can be reclassified if the, uh, if the uh, incumbent of the position meets the qualification requirements of the position. Mm-hmm. So yun po yung I think uh, we have to align dun sa aming rules because dun sa rules naman ng CSC it says that uh, approval of the reclassification appointment for reclassification is ministerial on the part of the CSC. Mm-hmm. Pero kasi it's within our mandate to to check on the qualification whether the the appointee meets the qualification requirements for the reclassified position. So yun po siguro magkakaroon na kami na alignment with the DBM para uh, ma-support yung ganan na ano. Pero tama po na yung quantum leap po na yan ay referring to the three salary grade limitation. And sa reclassification, um, the incumbent has to meet the qualification uh, requirements before uh, the position Having- to be reclassified. Maraming maraming salamat po, uh, Chief Sheila. At dahil nabanggit na po ang DBM, Yusek Kim, uh, pwede po ba kami makahingi din ng uh, another answer from you? Thank you po. Yes, Director Jaylo. In fact, uh, tama yung nare-refer natin na circular. That is uh, Budget Circular 2018-3. Specifically on the rules on reclassification. And in fact, kung titignan natin, um, ay kita natin doon yung specific uh, citation kung saan pwedeng magawa yung reclassification at dalawa doon sa items na yun are particularly for the teaching positions ng DepEd. Number one, yung ERF at number two, yung implementation ng master's teacher, master teacher's career path under EO 500. So if indeed EO 500 will be uh, amended at i-enact natin, ipopromulgate natin itong bagong career progression, this uh, circular will have to be updated as well to be attuned doon sa uh, reclassification system natin under the uh, revised position uh, position classification system for the teaching force. At kaya nga nang nasabi din ng ating kasama sa panel from the civil service uh, 
commission. It's just a matter of uh, making our rules and guidelines attuned, but still consistent with our uh, existing civil service and budgeting uh, rules and regulations. Dahil malinaw naman, if the incumbent is um, or satisfies the QS for that position, then reclassification can be done. Ang role naman ng civil service is just to make sure that QS has been met by, by the incumbent so that they can validate the appointment. So yun lang, alignment and uh, updating of rules lang yan, but I don't think there is a major obstacle for that, uh, Director Jaylo. Wow, so good news po ito sa mga sagot nyo. I'm sure masayang-masaya ang ating mga kapwa-guro na nanonood sa atin ngayon.